Hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie. And we are going to be doing some washi tape samples today. I want to thank everybody that has uh, come on over here early. Hey, Vanessa, thanks for coming on. Hey. Ooh, oh, oh, forgot to turn the volume down. <laughs> Got a little bit of feedback there. Hey, Sheila. Yes, you made it early today, girl. You made it early. Hi, Penny. Penny, I love those stamps that you made. Penny, Penny posted some stamps over at the Facebook group. If you're not part of our Facebook group over at Junk Journal Buddies, the link is below in the description. That's Junk Journal Buddies, y'all. And I love the color stamps that you use. So definitely want to try those. And let's see, we got Brenda over here as well. Thanks for coming on. So this is going to be a fun one and a little bit differently because y'all know I've actually made uh, some washi tape samples, so to speak. And I'll show them to you. I actually made them when I was going on a trip and I put them in. This is actually a, a, a little doohickey from a happy planner, happy planner day. So here's some of the washi tapes that I had for some samples so I wouldn't have to take all the washi tapes that I had in the whole wide world with me and all I did was use like some um, lamination scraps because I used to just save the scraps all the time because I was like I, there must be something I could do with it and so I just wrap my washi around and I just carry these with me when I go like on a trip or something like that so I can add a spot of color to some of my journals so I have a, here's one of my, this is my writing journal. I think I showed you all yesterday, my writing journal. And every now and then, like I'll put, like just to divide things up, instead of like, you know, journaling on a page and then journaling on another page, sometimes I'll just like divide things up um, using the washi tape itself. So that's a good use, or I'll put washi tape like, oh, let me show y'all on this book here. This is my everything book here and I'll just put washi tape like on the side. I actually have a video where I went through and I put washi tape on every single page. Oh yeah, let me fix my, let me fix the focus really quick like because it's going hairy carry. And so um, I didn't put that below, but if you all are interested, I'll give you the link for it. So I did that a while ago. Okay, so let me put these up. And I actually have, as you may have guessed, I'm going to use my laminator because I don't think I have, I haven't laminated anything in a really, really long time. Hey, Rhonda and Sheila. Oh, and I didn't do my little spill, did I? If you like junk journaling like we do, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're new and hit the notification button so that you'll be notified when more videos like this one come out. And also, please, please, please give this video a thumbs up. You can do that now, during, or after, but you know you're going to forget. So you may as well go ahead and give this video a thumbs up right now. Right now. Right now. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, and be home so you can watch or have your mobile device ready so you can watch when we come on. That's correct. So... I turned my laminator on already because usually it takes a few minutes to get going like most laminators but I already got the green light on here um, surprisingly it will cut off after a while that's a it's a really good laminating machine and I did put the link to that below too so what I'm going y'all I'm talking so fast I need to calm down calm down so what I did <laughs> was I took um, I took a few pieces of well let's start let's let me get this off my desk I'm going to be using again you're seeing these again and these are from the digital kit these are book page tags that we made I put the link for when we made these tags together and what I did was I scanned them and turned them into a digital kit so you can get those at over at Pleasant Creations and I'm using the small ones and I found that they are very versatile. Y'all those paper clips that we made yesterday, I I used all of them. I was supposed to be making those for <laughs> I was supposed to be making those for a swap 
So I got to make some more because I use them all. They're all in my journal now. As if I didn't have enough stuff hanging off my journal. Y'all love stuff hanging off the pages of my journal. It's so ridiculous. But so this is the kit that I use for this. So if you didn't see it yesterday, these are the small ones. And then I made some a bigger size. But of course, if you're inclined to do so, you can actually change the size of these. So let's put those aside. And then I also thought about using um, the decorated guest check kit as well. And uh, I didn't have any cut, so I decided not to use it, but I'm going to show you why I decided. So I had some of the guest checks that are actual size of a guest check. And I love these. I love using these. And here's some of the small ones. So you get a bunch of small ones. So here's two of the small ones that would be good for this job too. And then uh, a, a few more pages. And all of these are all unique too. So these are just, oh, I guess I could turn them this way so y'all can see, huh? I don't know why I haven't turned sideways, but these are just absolutely lovely. And the, they're so vibrant. And I think they would be really good for this job as well. But I, we're going to use these and I decided to do something a little bit different. And Okay, so I already laminated some of the small ones, but I'm not done with my laminating yet. And I took out some uh, washi tapes that I thought that um, the recipient would like. I tried to, y'all, I have some good washi tapes because I was like, you know what? I know I got some washi tapes in here that nobody doesn't want, but I found I have some good washi tapes. So <laughs> my partner in the swap is going to get some good washi tapes. That's that's what I think anyway. And okay, let me put these away because I don't think I'm going to use any more of these. And then so I wanted to do something a little bit different and make some bigger um, pieces instead of the tiny ones and see how that works out for me too. So I actually um, cut up some of, these actually came from a digital kit too. This is from the leaf doodles and then these are from the flower doodles. And some of, um, some of them are colored and then some are just black and white like this. So I'm gonna keep this just like this. <coughs> Excuse me. And this came from the leaf doodles. Y'all been, I was doing some voiceover stuff earlier, so <coughs> excuse me, my voice is a little raspy. And then I have some botanicals and I had just some other um, pieces that I thought would be good for this too. Hey Carla, hey, 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 hey. Okay, so, oh, thank you Rhonda. That makes me happy. <laughs> okay. I'm going to just push these out off the side for a minute and you know you should have a clean surface when you're doing your laminating because everything sticks to your lamination but you know how that goes. So I am using these scotch pouches and you've probably seen these before if you have a lamination you can get these in the office supply store and I know you can get them at Walmart as well but I'm, I'm going to tell you and this is what I think and you all can tell me if you think differently. It is expensive to buy these in the store and um, that's what I found every place I went to you only you got like a lot less than you get in this box here and it seemed like the um, unit cost was a lot more so I buy mines on Amazon and I put the link in the description so actually I have another box like this that, that hasn't been opened because you get a hundred sheets in here and I think it's a little less than $15 for a hundred sheets so I could laminate all day long with that I don't even mind if I mess something up because the price is pretty good as far as uh, unit cost goes so when I say unit cost that's like we'll say $15 divided by a hundred so it's like is that 15 cents yeah I don't know I have to use a calculator y'all and I came from accounting background I still I have to use a calculator <laughs> I'm a calculator kind of girl my mom used to say why you always have to use a calculator you um you're good at math I was like I'm good at math because I use a calculator so let's open this up and hopefully the laminator will still be going when we get ready to put these pieces in and I didn't cut them down or anything I'm just gonna leave them just no no I'm not I'm gonna cut some, I'm gonna round the corners on these. So, wait, let me move this out the way and let's round, let's round some corners. 
and I'm gonna do at a half inch and this is my we are memory keepers corner chomper so I'm gonna give this a little rounding round round so I think it will look good so how is everybody doing today are y'all working on anything special yeah some of this stuff is like on regular paper and I wanted to see how it was going to fill between the lamination sheets. So that's why I left it like that. Yeah, no mathing. We're not mathing. Y'all should have my glasses on. I'm struggling a little bit. Things are a little bit fuzzy. But sometimes I don't want to wear my glasses. You know, like a kid, I just don't want to wear those glasses. They're a pain. But I'm, after all these years, I'm getting used to wearing them. <laughs> all right, let's do this. This is just regular copy paper. Sometimes you don't have to go all out with cardstock. So. And I don't think we're going to need it for this particular application. So, ooh, Fab Crabs. Fab Crabs. <laughs> Fab Crafts and more says so she is busy. And by the way, Wendy at Fab Crafts. Yeah, Wendy. Y'all, sometimes I get things mixed up. She had a live stream haul. She did had a thrifting haul yesterday. And I watched the whole thing. And she got some good stuff. Girl, them giant cards you got. Oh my goodness. I want them cards. I've never found any giant cards. They are a beautiful. So Fab Craft says, what do you mean by laminating? I know what laminating means, but that doesn't look laminated. These are not laminated yet. I'll show you. And Fab Crafts also ask, do I use a laser printer or inkjet? I actually have two printers. I have an inkjet printer and I have a laser printer. Because when I first started out um, making things, um, I used the inkjet printer. But I wanted people to have be able to, um, to get items where they could actually like do collages and things. And they wouldn't have to worry about the ink running on it. So I wanted to have higher quality prints. So I purchased a professional quality laser printer. So I have a laser printer that I use too. So now for the only thing I really use my um, my inkjet printer for is just like shipping labels basically and maybe a few letters. And for the most part, I use the uh, laser jet. So I'm, I use the laser jet for these because the quality is just like spot on. I love it. I'm just going to put four in here on here. And y'all, like I said, I have the laminator right here. Let's see. I don't know if I can get the laminator on the camera. Last time I had the laminator on the camera, I almost broke it. <laughs> so hopefully we're not going to break the We're not going to break it this time. So now I am laminating. If it decides to catch. Mm -mm. It don't want to work for me now. What happened? Oh, there we go. I just been pushing it in. Now I got a crooked tag net it. See what y'all do to me? So I don't know what's going on. It's all right if the ends crinkle. As long as it doesn't get stuck, I don't care. And then I'm going to get another page out. I also greased up my hands, so it's like greasy spots on here. But that's okay, too. So I got my get my laminating sheets out. And um, sometimes you can find like self laminating sheets too, where you don't need a laminator like this. But I like this laminator. I've had it for quite some time. So yeah, I can do that. I can um, post it. I, actually, what I had intended to do it's like make a list of some things that I use and do it, make a file and put those things in. So, uh, 
I shall do that. I can do that. <laughs> so now you need a laser printer. I love my laser printer. I will say now the uh, cartridges, because they're not like they're not inkjets. They're cartridges. The cartridges might be pr pricey and out of the price range of some people. However, if you're not printing, I print a lot of stuff because I ship a lot of things out um, through the Etsy shop. But if you um, don't print a lot of things. Uh, it's going to last you like forever, the cartridges. So just keep that in mind. They come with like, I think like a full, um, full cartridges already. So it'll be a while before you buy them. And uh, just keep in mind that when it says that you're out of ink, it ain't over until the fat lady sings. Like for probably like a month, one of my cartridges said it was empty and it was still printing out very brilliantly. So I'm going to run this through one more time. I think did I just oh, I just did. that's the second run anyway. All right, so that's what it looks like. So I'm going to do another one. Let's do another one. Yeah, even with my inkjet if it says that I'm out of ink, I wait until like it my pages look like it's out of ink. <laughs> so All right, let us open this up. And I figure even if I don't use these for our little uh, project today for the washi tape, I could definitely use it for something else. I only got like three little sheets. Y'all need one more sheet in here just so I won't waste this little piece here. So let's use it's a hot mess in here, y'all. Let's use one of these, another, we'll use a larger one, a skinny one. Well, I like this one here. And get off of here. You get out of here, washi tape. Cause y'all know I had to take some washi tape loose so I can do some samples. Ugh. All right, let's put these here. Because when you're doing your lamination, you just want to make sure you have enough room between everything. So you have some space to cut. And you don't want anything hanging off the side, of course. I might be able to get one more on here. I'm really maximizing my space now. Don't want it to be too close because when I cut it, how about we put you over? Maybe. I don't know. We're going to try it. Put you there. I might have went a little overboard, but. All right. Let's get the laminator back over here. And let's put this back on here. I'll try not to. To make everything shift I forgot what I did last time and the lamination got stuck in here y'all had to I had to go through some trials and tribulations to get it um get that piece out but I did because I was like I'm not giving up on this laminator <laughs> it wasn't that expensive but still I don't want to buy another one again so y'all know how that goes so we got our lamination going, 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 going. Yeah, I'm just looking in the chat, make sure I didn't uh, miss anything. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything. That's your musical interlude for today. It's like watching paint dry because it goes so slow. But there's like this nice little hum from the machine. Y'all know I like I like machine noises. I don't know what it is. I remember when I was in the military, I used to have to go on guard duty and we had this little garage. We had the I don't know what we was guarding, but we had guard duty. Sometimes I think they were just making stuff up for us to do. But anyway. 
and it was like late at night time and I don't it was something in that garage that had like a hum to it y'all might have been I might have been guarding an alien aircraft or something <laughs> I watched too much sci-fi but it, it was something in that garage that had like a little hum and stuff and it would like almost lull you to sleep you know you're supposed to be woke when you're doing guard duty but whatever I enjoyed listening to the sound for some reason. I didn't really know it until I think back. I I didn't really know it then, but now that I think back, now I realize that I enjoyed that sound. Kind of weird. I'm a weirdo like that. See, you guys are hanging out with a weirdo. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off. It's good to go, and it can cool off. So this is what we have. See, now these are laminated. So I got some small pieces to cut and I have some bigger pieces to cut. So I am going to take out, you know who, da, 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 da. Uh, we're going to take out Big Mama because Big Mama makes me happy. Oh yeah, it was the wildflowers that got stuck. They were too fat. <laughs> yep, that A ASMR. Yeah, I don't like videos that are ASMR, though. That, I don't really like. I don't, because some of the sounds that they have is weird. When I was doing, um, on this channel, I did some color with me's, which I didn't even know was a thing. And I was like, let me see. I know there's plan with me's and all other kind of with me's, journal with me's. I said, let me see if there's color with me's. So, I found some color with me's and some of them were the ASMRs. I didn't know what ASMR was until I watched those. I didn't I didn't like it because like the people would be coloring and they would be talking really soft. They would be whispering. And that drives me nuts. I was like, "Could you just could you speak up a little just like they could hear me. Could you speak up a little bit? I can't hear what you're saying." <laughs> I was like, "No." I don't like it. And and the crazy part is like when I'm at home here during the, I'm at home all the time when I'm working and stuff it's very quiet in here. Like right now if I don't say anything I don't have a dishwasher going today. I like hearing the dishwasher too. So um, in case you haven't ever really um, hey Sandra if you haven't really worked with uh, lamination you just want to make sure when you're cutting trimming it off that you don't get too close to your image so I don't know if y'all can see because it's like really clear let me see the back of my hand you can see it there so you don't want to get too close because there's a pocket so when you put your your um, piece in it is sandwiched between these two pieces of plastic basically or I guess it's plastic and if you get too close you're going to open that pocket up so you always have to leave a, just a smidge away from that image so that pocket will stay closed. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just, I'm just going to cut a few of these because it will take me a little while to cut all of them. And see, I have like this piece. I probably will save that because I can put that over something. I don't know if y'all can see that. Maybe on the back of my hand because it's darker. So I'm going to save that piece. But some of these smaller pieces are just going to, they're going to go go to the trash because we can't save everything. Do you all save lamination pieces if you have a laminator? All right, so let's put that there. Y'all notice this piece, like the, the flower is over to the side, but that's the way I cut it on purpose. So I could have put like some Tim Holtz on the inside of this too, the tiny words, but y'all, I'm talking too fast today. Cause I can't, my words are slurred. I don't know why. I haven't had a drink in days. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm all slurry. I think cause I've been talking all day. Even though I'm alone, I've been talking. I've been doing some voiceovers on videos. All right, let's do this side. And I'm trying to take my time and make these nice because y'all know I could rush through things because these are going to actually be for the swap, which I don't know if I mentioned. If you are part of the group, 
I think we still have tomorrow is the last day to get signed up for the swap. There's three swaps going on over at Junk Journal Buddies. Uh, the link again is below in the description for the group. And one of the swaps is uh, is paper clips, uh, alter paper clips. Then we have this. And then what's the first one that I did earlier? I did something else this week. I don't even know. Penny, what is it? <laughs> I forgot that quick. Okay, let me do some of these small ones. Yeah, I forgot for real. And I did, I purposefully did the crafts on the live stream so that I can have my swap done. And I forgot what it was. I know washies, altered paper clips. I forgot the other one. What's the other one? Y'all help me. Help me. I can't remember. I have a really bad memory. In case y'all didn't know it. And it's worse. It's worse when you're on. Oh, faux stamps. Thank you. How, how can I forget the faux stamps? <laughs> but I, on all of them, I have to make some more because I've used the ones that I made. I was supposed, that was supposed to be for the swap, but it didn't really work out that way. But I think, I think the washi tapes will be safe because... I need to, uh, I got some samples for myself already. I love these little pieces though. You know, I like the digital kits, um, not just mine, but other people's kits as well, because <clears throat> a lot of times you just want to basically get your art on, as my cousin would say. We just want to art just a little bit. You don't need a lot for the day. And sometimes you don't want to make a lot of stuff. You just want to do a tidbit and that will make you happy. So if you have like a digital kit to kind of get you going, you can do a little bit of art and it'll give you some satisfaction for the day. That's how I feel anyway. So with these, that's why I keep using these over and over again because they are the perfect size for me to get my art on without making like a whole, whole bunch. Let's see how many we have. That probably is enough. Let's do some more. Let's do a few more. So we got the altered paper clips. We have the faux stamps and of course the washi samples. I think that's kind of perfect. Perfect for a swap. Because everybody usually has those things. So you did good, Penny. You always do good, though. I don't have to tell you that. Penny is loved. She is loved. Get these. And this, yeah, I guess I could use my scissors for this, but y'all know. <sighs> Me and my scissors. Let's try it. Let's see what happens if I use my scissors on these last two. She don't need a big mama, but... She's definitely nice to have, for sure. So I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not cutting too close to the to the edge. <laughs> All right, cut this. I guess I can cut a little faster using the scissors. Actually, it's not too bad cutting with the scissors. Probably should have just started off that way. See y'all, uh, I've gone into Bob, Bob Ross mode. She's talking softly. I guess he did the a a -S a -S -R -M thing also. Y'all, what does that mean? I don't even know what that means. I know what it is. I don't know what it means. I know it's supposed to be uh, relaxing, but I don't like it though. It's hard for me not to say anything and just like sit here and just craft with y'all. I just want to talk. Like I, I, I just want to feel the noise. It's kind of nervous. And I think that's why people have lots of utterances 
you know, when they say, um, and, and, so, and things like that, because they feel the need to fill that space, that noise space. I learned that in Toastmasters. I was a member of Toastmasters for years. I still have lots of utterances, but when you do, when you do a program like that, you you figure out ways to not speak wrong. It's not like you're speaking like it's not a grammar thing. It is the way that you speak. I love Toastmasters. I learned a lot and I made some good friends in my little city. All right. See, I'm being quiet. <laughs> but I'm sure you all can't hear me cutting though, so that's kind of defeating the purpose here. Now this one has a little bit of the picture of the threads on here because I didn't cut it off. Looks nice though. It's very nice. It's kind of good to round the corners on these too because sometimes they have some really sharp edges that can cut you. Let's use the fourth of an inch since these are kind of tiny. Give it a little little rounding. I'm probably doing too much. I always do too much. I can't help it. I'm a I'm a detailed crafting person for sure. These are so perfect. I love them so much. I love them. I love them, I love them. Show musical interlude. All right, and then these big ones. We're gonna do the half inch on these. And of course, we're not gonna decorate these or anything. These are for, to put the washi on basically. These are for the washi. Uh oh. That one didn't cut right for me. But we'll just take our scissors and fix that. Oh, I got one more. Let's do this one. I do have some more that are not cut, but if I don't use them for the swap, I can still use these uh, laminated pieces within journals. We'll find a way to use them. I figure since I have the laminator out, I could, you know, do a few things. All right, so the next thing I want to do, yeah, you know, I'm taking the big bite out. Dun, da, da, da. Hey, Tammy. <laughs> you came to shake things up. Oh, my goodness. You and Boo Boo Kitty. <laughs> but Boo Boo Kitty's not here today. Okay, I'm going to put a hole in these, and I'm going to use the uh, 3 sixteenths on the Big Bite. And you all won't be able to see me doing it, but you'll see. Um, I think instead of trying to get the hole like right here in the middle, I'm gonna put the hole on the side. Should she? Yeah. Let's do it that way. Oh, you could. Fab says you can put glitter inside the laminating layer. Yes, you can. You can put anything you want inside, but if you're gonna use it for this, I would just definitely recommend whatever you put, you do put it on the inside. 
Let's put this on the side. Let's live a little. I mean, I could mark these ahead of time and just kind of try to put the holes all in the same place. But you know, this is a live stream, y'all. <laughs> and then these, they look like they have a hole in them, but uh, lamination doesn't have the hole yet. So what did you miss, Tammy? You ain't missed nothing. You missed the lamination part. We were laminating these little pieces. So, and one re there's a few reasons you want to laminate your pieces for the for the washi tape samples. Because I mean, obviously, if you try to stick your washi tape on paper, it's going to you're going to lose some of your washi tape because it's going to stick to the paper. So if you use a lamination, you don't have that problem because you can you'll be able to use all of your product because it doesn't stick to the lamination. And then the second piece is you'll be able to use this over and over again. It's going to be nice and sturdy because like I said, some of these pieces I only print it out on regular 20 pound copier paper that you would just use in your printer. So that makes it very nice. How do you do the ones that are shakers? Um, I'm gonna tell you, I've never made shakers before. They're not really my style. Um, but like those little pieces I feel way probably could go in a shaker as well. So I, I'd have to do a little research to tell you how the shaker goes. <laughs> Because I've never made a shaker. Okay, so all of these are laminated and I put little holes in them. So now let's load them up with some washi that I think um, whoever gets this will like. So here's two that I did already. Let me take these off. I actually took a ring out because I thought it would be cool to put them on a ring. Because you can keep your little samples on a ring. I don't think I have a ring. Oh, those other ones. I don't know what I did with them. Anywho, so I just put two different washies on here and I tried to put like the colors that kind of match each other. And so this was one of the little tags. And now let me get closer. Let me try to get closer. I know this is gonna get in my way. I'm gonna have to move it, but whatever. Let's, let's fix this. There we go. So I did this and this one, and then I did this one with some black washies on it. And this one, I put like a little ribbon on here. I'm gonna have to tie this in a knot because it's coming loose. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this on here or not anyway. Maybe I'll tie it in a bow or something. I don't know. I don't know, you all. I was just trying something. You know, you know how we play. I guess you could do like the mini shaker things. I have some things I could use in the shakers. I have some teeny tiny, some of them little micro beads. I came, uh, some of my brother brought me like a whole bunch of them. So that's kind of cute. Kind of cutesy pootsy. So Penny says you can use, uh, it says, if you're not able to use lamination, you could just use plastic from packaging or transparent sheets. Oh, you could do that. Packaging is an awesome way to do like some recycling as well. Okay, I'm gonna try the big one. So this is what I did because, and I think I remember what the rule is on the washi, that you need to have at least like 18 inches. I think that's that's right. Penny can correct me if I'm wrong. So I was like, how in the heck am I going to figure out the correct amount of washi to put on here? So what I did was I took my little ruler. I don't know why I took my glasses off. And I'm actually going to measure the from the end of the lamination here to the lamination here. And it is about three and a quarter. And then I'm going to take my, where is, ugh, I can't find nothing around this joint. Let's see, let me pull up my calendar. 
I mean, not my calendar, my calculator. Where's my calculator? All right, let's look at the calculator. So it was three and a quarter, I believe, and I'm going to take 18 inches and divide it by three and a quarter. So that's five. And then I'm going to divide that by, so it's five inches, I mean, five times around. So divide that again by two because you're going front and back. And so I just need to wrap this about 2.76. So about three wraps around here would be 18 inches. Okay, let's do the pink. I'm going to do this pink right here. I can almost tell you where I got all this washi. Even though I have like so many rolls, it's like you remember like music, like where you were at when you got the washi. <laughs> and so let's see. Hey, Livy's. All right, so this one I think I got at Michael's and it was during Christmas time and they had them like for 10 cents or something. You know, it wasn't not a lot on here. And this one I got from Ikea. Y'all, Ikea actually sells the um, washi as well, in case y'all didn't know it. They sell it like in uh, where the stationery is at. And so, hey, boo-boo. How you doing, boo-boo kitty? So I'm going to put pink on here. And we said we need it three times around. So I'm going to start on the back. And I'm just going to put, I think I can probably, I'm going to put like three. I'm going to do this washi too. This one was a dollar store washi, but it's real pretty. And it's pink. So I'm going to try to put the pinks together. All right, we don't want to go over the hole though. I think I have enough room for all three. Now, one thing I learned when I'm wrapping this, you have to be careful because when you're pulling it, this is kind of a sharp edge and it will rip. So you want to be careful when you are pulling your washi out. I've seen some people do this really quickly. I don't know how they did that real quick. Y'all feel so slow sometimes. Okay, so that's one. So of course, if this was a smaller piece, I'd be wrapping uh, more to get my 18 inches or close to it. I'm sure you don't have to be exact. So that's two on the back and I'm trying to get them a little bit even. I'm not doing a good job, but whatever. Okay, two on the front. Three on the back. And three on the front and that should be 18 inches. So that's how I figured out how many to put on here. All right, that's some pretty washi, isn't it? Y'all, this also gives me an opportunity to see if any of this washi is bad, because your washi will go bad. All right, so let's use this one next, and let's start on the back. See, now y'all can hear the washi. And I guess you want to have like uh, clean hands when you're doing this too. So your washi, you want to make sure your washi sticks. So that's two, three, and three. All right. And this one to find my in. Hey, pink. Thanks for joining us. We are making some washi tape samples. I'm trying for these to be kind of straight because you know, I want the person to get these to be happy. Now, and I think you only need 10, 10 different washi. So, you know, yeah, I got some washi. I got some washi, so that's three right there. Three different washies. If you're only gonna just do ten, I suspect y'all. I'm not even counting. I suspect some people are gonna get some extra, extra washi samples. These are good to just stick in your journals too, so you can have some washies on the go. Okay, I'm just gonna go around one more time. I think it's more than I need, but I actually have uh, more than one roll of these, so it's. I think it's gonna be okay. <laughs> I think it's going to be okay. I forgot to round that corner. All right, so that is dun, 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 dun. okay. 
so that's the end of that one so that's pretty right and so I'm gonna put this on here it's gonna go on my ring next let's do another big one all right so I'm gonna measure this one and you don't have to measure but I just want to make sure I didn't short anybody so this one is about the same even though that's impossible no it's not right this is like two and two and three quarters so I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna do 18 inches divided by two and three quarters and then I'm gonna divide that by two so three times like um, I'll do like four times and that'll be fine for me so this one is a little bit smaller than this like I probably could put one more kind of washi on there but I'm not I'm not gonna overcrowd because I want to use some of the cards so I'm going to do these are some fun washies right here I'm gonna put these two on this card and this both, both of these are dollar stores that I got I used to find some really good washi tape at the dollar store y'all this on the back so you never know I like that birthday cake yeah I love birthday cake one time, my mom, she was sad about something. I went and bought birthday cake, and we ate birthday cake. <laughs> it was like something you see on TV. Just ridiculous. We ate birthday cake. Okay, that's like three on the back. So, three on the front. And four on the back. And four on the front. All right, and then I'm going to do this one. I like this one, too. Y'all yeah, like all my washi. Even the plain ones I like. Yeah, what time is it? Because y'all know I just run my mouth. And I got a lot of stuff to do. Like, that kind of stuff that kind of stress you out stuff to do. Okay, I said I was just going to put two on here, but it's a lot of space left. Okay, that's one, two on the back, two on the front, three, three, four, four. All right, so that's all I'm going to put on that one, just two. They, they look a little lonely, but it's okay, because you know what? Whoever gets this, they'll have room to put their put some of theirs on as well for their sample. So that'll be cool. All right. So next, let's do a, a little one. Let's do some little ones. So I'm going to do... Um, I was going to do these, but they're not going to fit. These are some Christmas ones. I figure since Christmas is coming up, then... The recipient may want some Christmas washi. All right, let's put these over here because I already used those. Let me see. Let me use this one. Let me use this one. All right, let's see how much room we have. I know these are not going to fit on here. Well, yes, they will. I just have to put them closer. Okay, we're going to do the Christmas washi, washi next. And these are about one and a half inches. So let's take our calculator. Yeah, that's my son and his daughter. Calculator here, and we're going to do 18 divided by 1.5 equals, I think I'm doing this right, and divide that by 2, 6. So, 6 times around. Okay. Oh, yeah, I lost my train of thought. So, I'm going to cut this little ragged piece off because, you know. It's unsticky. So this is some Christmas washi that I think my swap partner would like since Christmas is coming up. All right, so that's one on the back. That's pretty. One, two, two, three, three. 
four, four, five, five. Seems like a lot, doesn't it? Six. Y'all, let me tell y'all. When I first saw when I saw what the rules were and it said you have to do like 18 inches and 10 pieces, I was like, what? That's a lot of freaking washi. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to give up all that washi. <laughs> then I was thinking to myself, Liz, that is just so stingy and selfish. Because I'm telling you, I got so much washi. And I hardly even use all of it. I was like, shut up. I just slapped myself. <laughs> I had to slap myself. I said, let me get the washies out. And I tried to find the good ones too. I was like, I'll be all right if I use all the washi on the swap. It being so selfish. That's how I had to talk to myself, tell myself that. I'm trying to get this straight because I cut it kind of uneven, so it's hard to tell what I'm doing. Okay. Let's go around. Okay, that's one, one. Already going crooked. Two, three, three, four. Oh, that's three. I think uh, I lost count, y'all. Five on the back, five, and then one more for the back. Oh, see what happened? That's enough. That'll do. Um, because I was kind of pulling it. That's why you have to be careful when you're pulling it. Okay, now that washi isn't even that delicate, so I don't know what happened with that. So that's some Christmas washi. So I thought this person would like the, um, they would like some Christmas since Christmas is coming up and then this is kind of vintagey, so I thought they would enjoy that. So you want to give people something you think they're enjoy. If you think it's ugly and a uh, crazy kind of washi, then you probably, you shouldn't send it because it's not something you would want. Okay, so technically, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven. So I've actually, uh, I'm within my rules, but I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna do some more because I have all these nice little things here, and I think we still have a uh, just a tidbit more time. So I'm going to do another big one and I'm going to do this one because I like this one. So let's see what the size of this one is. <laughs> Making them for somebody else. Ah, no. Child. Okay, so this is three. So three divided. I'm trying to do this in my head, y'all. Three divided by 18 is six divided by two is three. So I just got to go around these three times. I did it. Now I will say this one I did on regular paper. And let's see. Y'all, the only thing about these pouches, they don't tell you what the millimeter is on the well, they do they do, but it's just like regular kind of um it's not heavy, heavy lamination. It's just a regular lamination. So this was regular paper that I did this on, and I can kind of tell it's not exactly flimsy. But I can tell the difference between the cardstock and um, this one for sure. I can tell the difference. So I think these are on cardstock, but they're smaller too. This is cardstock, yeah. It's different. That just bends really easily. All right, into who? Here comes the math. <laughs> All right, I like this green. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to do these. Let's put them. Yeah, I forgot how many. Okay, I said three. Let's do this one. Let me hurry up and do these because I want to do two more. And then I got to go, y'all. I got, ugh, y'all don't know. All right, so I thought even though Halloween is coming up and the person may not get these by Halloween. I mean, not Halloween. Um, well, these are Halloween colors, but I want to put these on this one. I guess, it, eh, no. Yeah, no, I'm going to do the green one. 
but I'm going to show you these two. So this one has mustache on it. So I thought that would be cool for November since November is coming up. So I hope it's still good because I've never used that washi before. But that would be cool to use like in a planner or in a journal. See, now that I'm looking at my washi, I'm like, I want to use that one. <laughs> you know how kids are? You give them a toy and they'll never play with the toy until some other kids come over. And then all of a sudden, that's like the most popular toy. And everybody wants to play with it. It's like, that's my toy. That's how I am with the washi right now. It's like, I don't want to get out of the way. That's my washi. All right, so that's one. Got to be careful not to pull. This is pretty. Two. That's three. All right. Right, so that's three. Now let's do one more for the road because I got plenty. This is a nice fat roll. So some of the rolls when I did some of the stuff, it almost took all my washi, but I was like, whatever, shut up and take it like a man. Okay, got plenty of washi, Lizzie. All right. Boo Boo says she has one roll of washi that she bought today to go with the 100 plus that she already has. <laughs> All right, let's see here. So look, y'all, see, that's the notification that I get. That's my little baby up there. That's the notification I get when somebody wants to join. So I see you. So Penny will probably get to it before I do. She likes a monster in that group. All right, so let's do this one. And this tape is a dollar store tape. But I really want to use the dollar store ones too because I've used this a lot. I love these colors. I love the green in it in this. It's so cute. All right, so that's one. All right, this is two. <laughs> uh oh, I lost count again. All right, let's just do one more this way, and I think that'll be good. So Penny says, just think uh, you're getting um, back from your partner. What I'm going to get back from my partner? I know, right? It's like you, you're, give, you're giving some away, but you're getting some back. Hey, Crafty Cat. Okay, so let's put this on a Z hook, and let's put this one back, uh, back here behind okay i'm gonna do one more and i'm gonna use this one which was from the flower doodles digital kits because again y'all see i don't have to make anything you can use magazine pages for this that has have pretty pictures if you don't have you know like the pretty kits and stuff um you can use playing cards one That's like two. Y'all, this would be cute for Halloween. I didn't even know I had this, see? I went into my orange bin to have them like kind of by colors. I'm not even counting. I didn't even measure this one, but I think I'm okay. Okay, I'm gonna do one more at the top of this. Still got plenty, look at that. Plenty to spread. I'll have that for another 15 years. <laughs> now this one though, I've never used this one, so let's see if it's still at home. Child, that washi was no good. I just wasted my money. I didn't even try to take it back. All right. I was thinking for a minute this wasn't going to be any good. So I'm just cutting, cutting like the crap ends off. I call them crap because I hate the little bent up, rolled up part where you have to try to get things off. This is a good washi. It's scotch, that's why. Look at that. So you have to watch out for the scotch tape because sometimes the scotch tape is not washy. It's tape tape. And if you thought it was washy and you was going to use it like washy, you need to think again. <laughs> I'm trying to be careful so I won't rip it. Okay. Even though this one is not that sturdy, I think it could hold up. All right, so this is two. Oh, 
I'm gonna go around again because I have a lot of this, so I think it's gonna be all right. You know what? It's nice to get um samples too because like I got all this washi and I'm never gonna use all of it. And it's nice to have samples because you have self satisfaction when you get to use it. You can just you won't feel bad when you're using it all. All right, so I'm just gonna put those two on here. All right, so we got those. All right, so this is what we got. And let me take them all. I don't know why I stuck them all on here, but you know. All right, so these are the ones that we have. I'm just checking the time real quick. Okay, we're right at an hour, so that's fine. All right, so we, I did these little ones earlier. And again, I tried to put like kind of like coordinating colors on here. And here's another one. So you can put, oh, I want to put, oh, I got holes and everything. So I just put like a little ribbon on there. It probably won't stay, but I was trying to think of different ways to do this. But I think just having the hole in here and I'm going to put, I'm going to put, include the ring as well. I think that'll be nice because you can add your own stuff to it too. And maybe... Yeah, I'm going to put some of these in there, too, that are laminated already with the holes. So I'll put those on the rings, too. So my um, recipient will get some of those. And here's another one. That's the Christmas one. And here is one that has, I guess I could have coordinated the card itself with the washi, but I think it's going to be all right, which I think. <laughs> And then we have this pink one. This is my favorite one. I like this. Yes, y'all, please give this video a thumbs up before y'all shove off. And so if you if you get picked and you're my and you're my recipient, you know what you're gonna get. <laughs> and then this one for uh November. And then I had like a lot of duplicates and stuff, y'all. So what I, let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I satisfied the rules. One, two, three, four, five. So that's 15. 15 different washies there. And then I'm also going to include some of these little laminated pieces here. Actually, I'm just going to give them all that I have here. So this person will get these little laminated pieces. And... Of course, the ring. Let's put this back. Let's put these back on the ring. We'll put the larger ones on first. At first, I wasn't going to do the larger ones. I thought they were going to be a little goofy, but they're not. They look nice. I like them. I'll put you in the front. Put these on. I'm going to put these on the back. So they have some more. And these are laminated, so they can be used the same way. So whoever gets this can add their own washi. So this can be like a little on the go pack for them. And put this in the front here. And then I'm leaving this open because I'm gonna put some tape on this. This is like some glitter washi. Y'all got so much glitter washi, do I use it? Negative. So it does have a little hanging piece that's not that sticky, but that's okay. Let's get a little tape out here. And I don't want to put it on here too wacky. So they'll be able to figure out how to get the tape off. Or if I can figure out how to get it on. Y'all know glitter is hard to stick upon itself. So hopefully that'll stay. And let's stick that on there. So they're going to get that glitter roll there. And then I had like a, I had lots of duplicates of these. I actually got these from the dollar store as well. And so since I had some duplicates of these, I decided to add these on. And uh, thin washi is nice to have. So I'm going to put, I think they'll fit, maybe. I don't know. They're going to go in the package nonetheless. I don't know how I'm going to pack this up. <laughs> and then I'm going to close this up some kind of way I don't know how there we go so uh, I know my hand is like really close now all right here we go so this is what they'll get in their pack so that's kind of cool I like that like now one of the rules was make sure when you 
um, give your, you know, when you pick out the washi for somebody that you're picking out something that you would want. I would love this. I would absolutely love this. Cause you know, like the cards with the washi is just like, that's like that piece de resistance, right? <laughs> the piece de resistance and then just some extra stuff. Cause you know, like I said, this is like, uh, just a pittance of the washi that I have. So it, it just doesn't make sense. Um, to not give some extra washi away, even though you don't have to put that much on for, for you to satisfy the swap. So make it worth my time. So make sure you give this video a, a thumbs up. And if you like these digital kits that I have here, you don't have anything small, you know what you could do too. Something I didn't think about. If you don't have a laminator, you can like take these small pieces or whatever pieces that you have and use like packing tape. I think packing tape might work. You might have to use like a piece of cardboard and then glue this on and put some packing tape on it. And then your pieces will not stick because uh -huh. packing tape has that nice slick surface just like this. So I think that will work too. So uh, that is it for this evening. Uh, again, you can head over to pleasantcreations.com to pick up your digital kits so you can do your washi tape, uh, <laughs> your washi tape rolls there's a great way to support the channel as well and also I, I don't mention it enough but you can head over to the patreon channel and uh i have a few patrons right now and i want to thank you all for um being a part of the community and you can also head over to the facebook group where everybody is sharing and sharing and sharing and having fun there too and that's at junk journal buddies so the link is below the patreon link is patreon.com slash list for a day so you can head over there also so with that i'm going to say love peace and hair grease from your sweet lotus blossom and lovable laminating Lizzie, <laughs> have a fantabulous day and enjoy life.